Hi, my name is Janet Smith, Reading and Dyslexia Tutor, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can upload any PDF file to OneNote so that you can actually use it and work with it with your student online. So the first thing you would do is open OneNote, and OneNote is part of the Microsoft Office suite. Most people already have it on their computer. Um, if you've used it before, you may already have some notebooks in here. If not, it might be blank, but for demonstration purposes, let's create a new notebook. And I'm just going to call this uh, Practice. And then once this opens up the new notebook, it will tell me there are no sections yet, so I'm going to add a section, and I'll just call it Activities. And of course, name them according to how you want to organize things. Then once I have a section created, you can upload pages to that section. So to do this, you would select Insert and File. And this is going to open up the files on your computer. And you can go through your files until you locate the PDF that you want to insert. So I found this activity. I select Open. And then OneNote will say, how do you want to insert it? And you want to select Insert as Printout. So that, if it's just one page, it'll upload very quickly. You can actually upload PDF files that have multiple pages as well. Um, but this one's just one page. So now I have it uploaded and ready, and it's always going to be stored in the notebook I created under the heading I've created. So when I want to work on it with my student, I select the drawing tools, because in this case, you're supposed to divide and read the double and single letter words. And they have a lot of neat drawing tools. This is a rainbow pencil or pen. So here I'm going to use that to divide the words so the student can see the difference between the double letter that creates a closed first syllable and says hopping and the single letter that creates, causes that first syllable to be open and long, so it says hoping. And so the student would just go through, and when you're sharing control through Zoom or whatever video um, conferencing program you're using, they can actually take control and divide those words. There's some other neat tools here. The highlighter is great. You could use that to highlight each type of first syllable and show that it's closed or open. If this was a page where you had to um, connect words in different columns or match them, you could do that. And then if you wanted to type, you click anywhere on the page and just start typing. And a text box opens up and your text that you're typing shows up. So if I had to fill in the blank or I wanted to dictate words or sentences, you can do that for, um, depending on what the page is um, asking you to do. So that hopefully gives you an idea of how you can just use any PDF file you have, whether it's an activity sheet, um, maybe it's a story, um, it could be Maze, a maze that's on a PDF and you can actually draw your lines to go ahead and complete the maze. Um, Tic-tac-toe, whatever you've created or whatever you have, if it's in that PDF format, you can open it in OneNote and you can share it with your student and allow your student to complete whatever it is that is needs to be done for that activity. So I hope this gives you um, a good idea of how you can start using it when you're tutoring and meeting with your students online.